remembering Michael Jackson 11 years later. It's hard to believe. Um, you know, I've always thought of him as the uh, the greatest. Was he uh, a cornerstone of my childhood, early adulthood, etc.? Um, you know, I hold him as one of the greatest artists ever. Um, I miss his presence, his music, what he was about. He was Black Lives Matter, too. And when I say that, he spoke out about it. He was real about it. He spoke out about the racism in the music business and what he had to overcome. If you were around back in the day, you know that Off the Wall, which was a very strong album and to me it's like the godfather and thrillers like godfather too however you want to call it but that's what they meant to me and still do um he only got one grammy i have to see some lame acts come along and they hand them like i saw billy anglish and Lish keys and john Lynch. some of these corny acts getting 99 awards and to me, most of these acts that have a bunch of awards in the last 10 years, they not even a half of Michael Jackson's impact or songs or talent. But that's another story. But I'm just being real, what that meant, what it still means, what his impact was, because it was a black thing. Let's get it real. This is Black Music Month. He died on this particular date, and he represented a high level of quality. He's one of the faces of music. Let's not even get it twisted. That's what he represents. So breaking that glass ceiling jar in Hollywood, owning his music, owning his masters, because he went where so few have gone. He was a real board member. And I tell all the time, I learned everything about the music business stuff following Michael Jackson. He was the best teacher because of what happened with Motown and the Jackson 5 till he got to Sony. So it was a painful reminder that it's always a reminder because he felt like a family member. His music transcended all walks of life or culture. I've known people from all over the world. There was no internet. There was no none of that. But they knew Michael Jackson music. They knew what Michael Jackson meant. All these rappers owe a debt to him. Everybody that came after him is a debt to that man's music, his generosity, and what he represented. This racist country turned their back on him. And though they didn't assault him physically like George Floyd, they assaulted him from being exiled from here. Racist agenda, Santa Barbara DAs and police, FBI, CIA, all those corrupt forces were used against this man. He represented freedom. He represented a burst of energy. And he was a source of inspiration for many, countless many. There's a reason why in life and in death, from 8 to 88, Michael Jackson transcended and touched so many lives. And you can never forget about that impact, that strength, and what he was about. From Gary, Indiana, to his birthplace all the way through. You know, respect to his family and everything. But this was a strong black man. I call him a strong African warrior because Michael Jackson represented the whole nine. And you just don't get that every day. I'm sorry. You get a Michael Jackson once a lifetime. There aren't two people going to come through that door that's going to see what that man was about. As an artist, as humanitarian, and also what he went through. And it's important to remember that. The music speaks for itself. The tools speak for themselves. The character speaks for itself. The force, the whole nine. So I just want to take time to remember that it was 11th years to his passing. It still feels just like yesterday. Because if you grew up in a certain way, it's hard to believe that Michael Jackson isn't here on this earth considering his impact and his larger-than-life persona. And when you still see people like Chris Brown, Neo, Usher, Beyonce, Bruno Mars, you see the spirit of Michael Jackson through that and many others 
in all walks of life of music. So he's been gone for 11 years, but the king of pop ain't forgotten. That man is still felt in his presence as an all-around artist. And let me say, I don't hear a lot of turkeys trying to badmouth them as much, but they still do. But Jive Turkey like Quincy Jones, he did a lot for your career, sir. So you need to ease up and chill. You need to put some respect by Michael Jackson's name. Same goes for the racist music industry. Because Michael Jackson saved you single-handedly many a time. He saved you in a time when cassette recording off the radio, which is the equivalent to taking your songs off the social media, we could sit like that, we couldn't, couldn't do it. And Michael Jackson always proved him wrong. He held up. So rest in peace. Remember Michael Jackson 11 years later. Give me your thoughts, your takes on that. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. Give those flowers and respect our greats. I'm out.